Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. Hi there, welcome to the 39th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlight Show. My name is Jeff Hill. What you're going to see is our 39th event, and we're very, very proud of our history. I'm going to walk you through some of the highs and lows of what it's like putting a major event like this together and I think you're going to be very excited to see how many incredible collector cars actually cross the block and probably be pretty interested in some of the selling prices. You can hear the rumble, the bumble there, that's a uh, 468 big block roller cam pushing out 500 horsepower on approximately 3,000 miles since a total restoration on this truck. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle. All sorts of technical features here, of course, that have been upgraded. Transmission is a 375A beefed up from the 350. Rear axle 12-volt Chevy with 411 gears. Uh, and a locker uh, wheel wells have been tubbed to the frame rails. Wood in the box is original from factory from 1972. Torque thrust wheels are there. This is a beautiful, beautiful rust-free truck. Reason for, the se for selling it, their owner is just making a move to a whole new province. And I said the opportunity is now to move on from, uh, he's got a couple of great trucks in this auction. And again, is offering these up at no reserve, folks. Alberta is truck country. Let's show the consigner some love for what he's bringing in here. 1972 Chevy Cheyenne Cologne. Lot 163 was a 1972 Chev Cheyenne pickup that had been modified. And that truck was consigned to us unreserved and that individual consigned two others unreserved also and just as a kind of a compassionate person I'm always nervous for people when their beautiful uh, vehicles are on the block and you can see that there's a significant amount of money uh, put into them. Um, it came on the block and crossed the block and of course very very nervous and he was a real gentleman the fellow that uh, had consigned the cars. There you go there's the story. It's selling unreserved. It's going to a new home. Who wants to start it? Be the first in. 5,000. How about five? How about 5,000? What do you say? Five? Thank you. Five. Seven and a half. How about five? Seven and a half. Now ten. Seven and a half bid. Now ten. How about seven and a half here? Now what do you think? Would you go ten? Would you go ten? Ten bid. Now twelve and a half. What do you think? Fifteen thousand? How about twelve and a half? Now fifteen. Fifteen, 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 twelve and a half. Fifteen. Now seventeen and a half. Thirteen. Fourteen. 16, 15, 16, 16, now 17, I'm at 17, now 18, what do you think, would it go 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18,000, 17, now 18, I'm at 17, 18, bid now 19, 18, bid now 19, 18, bid now 19, what do you think, would it go 19, would it go 19, would it go 19, would it go 19, 18, 19, I'm at 18 here now, what do you think, would it go 19, would it go 19, would it go 19, would it go 19, don't let us miss you. If you want in on this truck, raise your hand. It's selling, 18, folks. 19, it's going to a new home. 18, 19. How about 18 here now? What do you think? Would it go 19? 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 18,000 bid now 19. 18,000 dollar bid now 19. Anybody else? 19. 18,5 bid now 19. How about 18,5 here now? What do you think? 19 now? No, 19. Would it go 19 now? 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 19. Now 19 and a half. I bid 19. Now 19,5. I bid 19. Now 19,5. I bid 19 here now. What do you think? Would it go 5? 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 Anybody missing? Anybody missing? 19.5. Don't miss out. 19.5. Raise your hand if you want in. $19,000 bid now five. $19,000 bid now 500 anywhere. Let's go. I sold the truck. $19,000. I think it's very neat because as you drive into the town of Okotoks and it says welcome to Okotoks is an old car as their sign which shows the significance of this uh, sale to the town. Um, but it was started by family members, my aunt and uncle, in 1974 as a very small um, sale and it just remained in Okotoks and as the town expanded and got new arenas it facilitated a bigger event and it's always stayed there and it's been in the same place for many, many years, decades. We've got lots of cars in Alberta. We should try and run a car auction in Okotoks, in our home. 
And so the next year, we in the old arena, this is in the old arena that was a curling rink and an old, ugly arena, we had, I think, 36 cars. So to answer your question, why Okotoks, it's because uh, it works. It's kind of a, a place for uh, parents to take their kids and just look at these beautiful old vehicles. It's also a place for um, collectors in southern Alberta, probably in western Canada, to come and check out vehicles that they may wish to purchase at an, uh, at an auction. Because of all the vehicles here, because of the interest in vehicles, because of the, the high value of collector cars over years, uh, I, I believe Okotoks uh, is very interested in what goes on at the collector car auction. Lot 171 is very interesting. Um, a fellow was a GM dealer and bought this 1989 Chev Cavalier from the original owner, this convertible. And it's very funny because, as I mentioned earlier, some of the old guys would look and think, well, that's not a collector car. But it is. It's an 89 with very low miles in virtually showroom condition. And that consigner had been coming since 1977. I came and I bought my first car here in 1955 Chev. And it kind of started my uh, car collection, and I've uh, been coming to every year that I could make it here. So I've, been, I've probably been here at least uh, 25 times. My favorite sign, no reserve. Yeah, let's here try and go. sell this one, Bob. It's 1989 Chevy Cavalier Z24 convertible. Low, low mileage. This is an ideal car for anyone in the crowd to buy, pop the top down, enjoy for a couple of days. Your kids can drive it. Anybody can drive this vehicle. It is an automatic. Rated as very good top to bottom, fully loaded, including air conditioning. Not that you need it. It is a convertible. Completely original. No mods. There you are, boys. She's here to sell. Who wants to start this one? 5,000. You in? I'm at 5,000. Six bit, no seven. Six bit, no seven. I'm at six, now seven. I'm at six, now seven thousand. I'm at six thousand here now. What do you think? Would you go seven? 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 Six thousand bid no seven. Plaid shirt, let's go. Six bid no seven. What do you think? Seven thousand? Sixty-five, now seven. Now seven, now seven. Now seventy-five. Seven thousand, now seventy-five. I'm at seven thousand here now. Seventy-five, would you go seventy-five? Would you go seventy-five? Would you go seventy-five? Would you go seventy-five hundred? Seventy-five hundred, seventy-five hundred. Seven thousand old bid no seventy-five. I'm at seven thousand, now seventy-five. Seventy-five, now eight, now eight, now eight. What do you think? Would you go eight? I'm at seventy-five hundred here now. What do you think? Would you go eight? Now eighty-five, eight thousand, but no eighty-five. Would you go eighty-five? Would you go eighty-five? Would you go eighty-five? Would you go eighty-five? Eight thousand, now eighty-five. So I brought today. I brought this car, and it's been a, a real fun car. It's only got eighty-seven thousand original kilometers on it. Uh, we've. I took it on trade, like I said, and it's only had one registered owner. And um, I've driven it on a deuter plate, and I put some insurance on it, and we enjoyed a, a trip along the Oregon coast with it and up to Pebble Beach and things like that. But uh, other than that, it's been in storage, and it's a it's a beautiful driver for somebody. It's uh, going to be 25 years old next year, and it falls into the collector car class. So it'll be a, a, a real neat car for some collector. I've got two children and, and uh, seven grandchildren and one granddaughter that's uh, going to be 13 years old and she kind of has her eye on this car here but it might be uh, maybe a little bit too hot for her. 85, 8,000, a little bit, no 85. Anybody else? 85. Yeah. Eight and a quarter, eight and a half, eight and a quarter, eight and a half, eight and a half, almost at her, eight and a half. Eight and a quarter, eight and a half, eight and a half, now 75. Eight and a half, now 75. Eight and a half, bid now 75. We go 75, we go 75, we go 75, we go 75. Eight and a half, bid now 75. Eight and a half, bid now 75. I'm at 8,500 here, now 75. We go 75, we go 75. I have sold the car, $8,500. When he called me and told me what he had, I said there's going to be two buyers for that. Somebody who wants to get that vehicle for their son or daughter for college or for their cabin. And sure enough, the, pur the purchaser ended up getting it for their daughter. When you can uh, make investments like that, it's, uh, uh, you know, it makes things a lot more fun. Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. Lot number 143.
How's about that? 1967 Valiant, 53,000 miles. Rated is very good all over the place. Here's what you want to know, folks, when you're buying a car like this. 446 pack, professionally built by Gion Racing. Ro the uh, Ross flat top pistons, the uh, Speed Pro rings, Chrysler steel crank, OEM rod, solid lifters. It's all been done and done right with the core aluminum rad. Heavy duty 727 torque flight transmission with a custom Chrysler 280 torque converter and B&M shift kit. 410 Sure Grip, you're going to need that with a 446 pack. This thing is perfect by all words. Car was sold new here in Calgary at Renfrew Motors in June of 1967. Calgary collectors, listen up. This is a Calgary car. Car was built by Bob Wintoy of Calgary as the ultimate street sleeper, and that it is. Car comes with, complete with build photos and receipts. It's been judged, of course, very high through World of Wheels and Mopar shows, taking home trophies all over the place. 446 pack. I think it's the third time I've said it, and you need to know that. 1967 Valiant. Have a look, boys. Let's go. You're getting a chance to bid on some. Get bidding. Let's have 25. I'm at 25,000 here. Now, what do you think? We go 25, 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 we go 20,000. 20,000. Start it. 20,000. I'm at 20 here. Now, what do you think? We go 20, 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 we go 20. What do you want to start it at, boys? 18. Bid now 19. 18. Now 19. 19. Now 20. I'm at 19 here. Now 20. What do you go 20? What do you go 20? What do you go 20? 19. Bid now 20. What do you go 20? 20,000. 19. Now 20. I'm at 19. Now 20. I'm at 19 here, now 20, what do you go 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 20, 19,000 dollar bid, now 20, 19 bid, now 20. You guys must all have one at home, 19, now 20. I'm at 19 here, now 20, what do you go 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 20, 19, now 20, 20,000. Beautiful car, rebuild, oh, I can't believe it, 19, now 20. I'm at 19 here, now 20, what do you go 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 20, 20, now 21. I'm at 20, now 21. I'm at 20 here, now 21. Would you go 21? Would you go 21? Would you go 21? 20,000, now 21. I'm at 20, now 21. I'm at 20,000 here, now 21. Would you go 21? Would you go 21? Would you go 21? Again, folks, you need to know what you're looking at. These are built and built right by the right people. 21, 22. 21, 22. I'm at 22, now 3. 22, would you go 23? Would you go 23? Would you go 23? Would you go 23? 22, 23. Again, here's another example of a car that's got $50,000, $60,000 invested into it. And we're talking 22,000 as a bid. I'm at 23, now 24. I'm at 23 here, now 24. Would you go 24? 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 All the receipts go with the car, folks, to prove that what work has been done, again, that it's been done right. Calgary car. 23, 24. I'm at 23 here. What do you think? Would you go 24? 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 24,000. 23,000 dollar bid. Now 24. I'm at 23. Now 24. I'm at 23 here. Now what do you think? Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Don't let us miss you. 24. You're sleeping on this. I can't believe it, boys. You're getting a chance to bid on some of the best cars in Alberta. 24,000. 24,000. 23 bid now four. I'm at 23 here now. 24. Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Anybody else? 24, 24. Driver out. 23, 24. I'm at 23 here now. 24. Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Would you go 24? 24, 24. What are you talking? Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the consigner has uh, over fifty, sixty thousand dollars into this car. We're sitting at a bid right now of what, Bob? Twenty-three thousand. Twenty-three thousand dollars. The car will go to a new home at twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five. Crazy It'll deal go to a here. New home. Four forty-six pack car, all done. Out the door. Three, four, 25. five, twenty-five. It'll go to a new home. Twenty-three, twenty-five. I'm at 23, 25. I'm at 23, 25. I'm at 23 here now. 25. We go 25. Go 25. Go 25. Go 25. Go 25. Anybody interested at 25,000? It'll go to a new home. 25. I'm at 25. What do you say? It's it's unreserved. 23,000 dollar bid now four. I'm at 23 now 24. It's going to a new home. 23, 24. No reserve. 23, 24. I'm at 23 here, not 24. We go 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 24. Get on it, folks. This car is selling. 
24,000. Three and a half, now 24. I'm at 23 and a half here, now 24. We go 24, we go 24, we go 24, we go 24, we go 24. 23 and a half, 24. I'm at 23 and a half, 24. Do not walk away on this for $500. It's selling. 23 and a half, 24. I'm at 23 and a half here, now 24. We go 24, we go 24. To do yes. another one, you'd be almost 24, 25. I'm at 24 here now. I'm down here, 24. I got somebody else, new blood, 24. 25. I'm at 24 here now. 25. We go 25. We go 25. We go 25. We go 25. 24. 25. 25. 24. 25. 24. 25. 24. 25. 24 and a half. 24 and a half. Don't lose Who this else? over 500 bucks. 24 and a half. I'm at 24 here now. 25 and a half. We go 24 and a half. We go 24 and a half. Anybody else? 24 5. 24 5. Last chance. 24 5. I have 25. 24 and a half. Now 25. I'm at 24 and a half here now. 25, we go 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 25. 24 and a half, not 25. 24 and a half, not 25. 24 and a half, it now 25, we go 25, we go 25, we go 25, we go 25. Seven and a half, now five. 25, 25, 25. 24, 750. 25. I'm at 24. 7 and a half. What do you go 5? 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 We have. What do you have? 24. 25. 25. Got to be 25. I'm at 24. 7 50. What do you go 5? 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 Last chance. Sold the car. 24. 7 50. When somebody comes in, they get their they get their bidders cards, and we have um, administrative staff that will get their ID and that kind of thing, so we know who's who's bidding and, and of course a bid is a binding contract so there's no gains and there's no backtracking oh I didn't mean to do that it's an auction if you're bidding you're buying is this scenario and it's so we have the girls take the bidders information and then we have a section cordon off for the bidders um, and we have our auctioneer up there and he's the guy the fast talking guy on the mic who, who goes and he's kind of the traffic director but Really, it's the interaction between the bidders and our bidders' assistants, or otherwise known as ringmen, that is really part of the fun of the event. And the, th the three guys we have are just a real treat to watch. Um, they've got character, they've got enthusiasm, they're funny, um, and they can really... It, it's interesting because bidders will play games and shake their head, no, not interested, and you know, down, you know, they know they're there by to buy the car, and it's that bidder's assistant and that dialogue and that correspondence that kind of makes them maybe okay, loosen the purse strings a little bit more. They're a real highlight of the show, and and you know, people come for years and years and years, and part of it is because it's really entertaining and our ringmen or bidders assistants are are a huge part of that entertainment value and they're true pros they are as good in their industry as as anybody and it's a thrill to have them in you know the small time Okotoks collector car auction but the bidders assistant his dialogue with the actual bidder is to get him to reality and come on this is what it's going to take because you'll see them also uh, come over to me or or the seller and just say where are we at are we close or you know and then they go back to the to the buyer and and have more dialogue and it's an art it is not something that I think you can just volunteer and say I want to be a bidder's assistant these guys are as good as it gets and and you can see it because some vehicles the bidding slows there's a trick in the auction industry sometimes where you would move a vehicle out to create some more urgency and you'll see in this sale there were vehicles that were long gone and they were still being worked because the dialogue that was going back and forth by these guys I mean they're true professionals Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter, Chevrolet, Cadillac, Buick, GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. Let's again step up on this one. Presently, the truck has a 454, so you get, the, you get the 454 for free on this one. Big block for pulling the matching trailer uh, that will be sold in the next lot. 
307 rear gears rebuilt when switched over to the five stud axles. Lots of work done to this again with one repaint uh, in 1978. Wow, that's a 1978 paint job that has lasted and lasted well. The uh, top of the cab, the inside of the box, however, was repainted in 1996. 1970 Chevy half ton fleet side with a 454 and again the correct numbers matching 402 right along with it. There it is. Now you've heard it. She's selling. She's going to a new home. Who wants to be the first one in on this? 5,000. Who's going? Five. Five. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Now ten. I'm at seven and a half here. Now what do you think? Ten. Now twelve and a half. Ten bid. Now what do you go? Twelve and a half. We go twelve and a half. We go twelve and a half. Eleven. Now twelve. Eleven bid. Now twelve. I'm at eleven. Now twelve thousand. I'm at eleven here. Now what do you think? We go twelve. We go twelve. We go twelve. We go twelve. We go eleven. Eleven bid. Now what do you go? Twelve. We go twelve. We go twelve. We go eleven. Eleven bid. Now twelve. Eleven. Now twelve. What do you think? Eleven. Twelve. I'm at eleven. Now twelve. I'm at eleven thousand here. Now what do you think? We go twelve. We go twelve. We go twelve. Eleven and a half. Now twelve. Eleven and a half bid. Now twelve. Eleven and a half bid. Now twelve thousand. What do you go? Twelve thousand. What do you go? Twelve. We go twelve. We go twelve. Eleven and a half bid. Now twelve. I'm at eleven and a half. Now twelve. Oh, don't shake your head, boys. Your hair will blow in the breeze on that. Eleven and a half. Twelve thousand. Now twelve and a half. I'm at twelve here. Now twelve and a half. We go 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 twelve and a half. Twelve thousand. Now twelve five. Twelve thousand bid. Now twelve five. We go twelve. We go five. We go five. We go five. We go five. We go twelve. 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 We
Arthur's widow intended the car to be on display as part of the dealership's 50th anniversary celebrations. And in order to honor her wishes, the car spent the last year or so being used for display purposes in Jack Carter's Calgary showroom. Fully operational and in very good condition for its vintage, engine and most other component, components are original. Some restoration work has been performed, but this is a collector's dream. And the proceeds of this sale are being donated by Jack Carter to the mustard seed. No reserve. Our friends at Jack Carter had a 1927 Chev that they've had for some time and they decided it was time to sell it and they donated the funds to the mustard seed. And so we just announced that this is what's going on with this vehicle and uh, the proceeds are going unreserved are going to uh, these two different charities. So that was kind of neat. That was neat to be a part of. Big hand to Jack Carter. They're supporting the mustard seed. Real dealers making a contribution to our community. Who's going to start it? 10,000. 5,000. I'm at five. Anybody looking? I'm at 5,000. You're not going to think we go five. 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 Anybody looking? We go five. 5,000. 5,000. Who's going to start it? 5,000. You got five? Five. Seven. Seven. Now eight. Now nine. Now nine. Nine. Now ten. Ten. Now eleven. I'm at ten. Now eleven. I'm at 10,000 here now, but I think we go 11, we go 11, we go 11, we go 11, 10,000 mid now 11. I'm at 10,000 now 11. I'm at 10,000 here now, but I think we go 11, we go 11, we go 11, we go 11. 10,000 all bid now 11. 10,000 now 11, 11, 11. Sir, help us out. 10,000 now 11. I'm at 10,000 here now, but I think we go 11, we go 11, we go 11, we go 11, we go 11. 10,000 all bid now 11. 11,000, 10,000, 11. 11,000. Anybody else? 10,000 dollar bid now 11. Last if, chance. If you know this vintage of vehicles, you know how difficult it is to find one in fine form. And that's what you're finding here. Yes, it's a bit of a project, some of the work that needs to be done. More importantly, the, uh, the idea here is everything that is made off the sale of this vehicle and the trailer that goes along 11, with it 12. is donated to the mustard seed. I'm at 11 here, now 12. What do you think? We go 12, 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 12 11,000, bid now 12. Sold the car for $11,000. Another round of applause for Jack Carter and uh, congratulations to the new consigner. $11,000 going to the Mustard Seed. Big, big help in the city of Calgary. We decided Mustard Seed is an organization that we're involved with through the year. It's a charity that's sort of near and dear to our heart. Wow, that's fantastic. That must make you feel really good. Yeah, we're pretty proud to be able to help them out down there. They're, uh, they're really wonderful people and it's obviously a very good cause. So. And donating charity makes you feel good. It does, yeah. I believe it was a record rainfall on Friday. And the way the process works is that we only have access to the arenas, that, you know, um, really Friday morning, the Friday of our sale. So we ask everybody to bring their vehicles between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Well, if you remember on that day, it was absolutely pouring, like pouring. And these are people's pride and joy. Many of these cars have never seen rain in 40 years. And here I am asking them to get their cars to the event. But I was extremely proud of our team because in many cases, people would show up with their car. So we had a very, very, very um, successful uh, system that by the time the vehicle showed up, they were in their place and they were dry. And I think that made the consigners feel like they were in good hands, but that was just, I mean, talk about losing sleep when you're looking at the forecast and there's rainfall warnings. And I mean, we're not dealing um, with run of the mill cars. These are very, very special cars and people are not trailering them. In a lot of cases, they're driving them. And uh, so, you know, many thanks to all the people that not only helped us out, but trusted us enough to bring their cars on that day. And uh, it, it turned out great, but we had our friends at Jack Carter uh, sponsored a detailing crew to come. So when the people showed up, they had a crew that was ready to work on their cars, get them dried, get them detailed, and get them in place. What is your favorite part about this auction? Well, seeing the cars come through, um, it's really cool. Like they're just so amazing. I love seeing them come through and washing. How many years have you been coming to this? Uh, this is actually my third year uh, working at it. And, and what do you do to help out around here? 
Uh, well, it's not the greatest weather today, so I've been kind of uh, washing off the cars, getting all the water off, making them look presentable, and then uh, I'm kind of a gopher, I guess, because I can't drive or check serial numbers yet, so it's, it's a lot of work because you're everywhere as a young little guy, I guess. Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. The dynamics of the day were very interesting. We started off with memorabilia, which was really fun. We'd never done it before, so we had about 10 old gas signs and two gas pumps. And uh, they sold very, very well. Uh, the gas pumps were like five and $7,000 respectively. Beautiful old pumps. And it got the bidders going. And then as we got into the cars, um, as, as you know, indicated, sometimes the reserves are too high and, and uh, bidders just don't respond. And sometimes bidders don't know what they're looking at. But there was a kind of a hole in the day where it was almost frustrating because you would have thought that these educated bidders would have known more about the cars they were looking at. But when I'm consigning cars, a lot of people don't want to be late in the day because they figure the bidders are going home. Um, but for the last two years, the most successful ratio we've had was at the end of the day. And I think in our last 30 cars, we sold about 80% of, of those cars. And so it was a very, in the middle of the day, there was a bit of a lull. And at the end of the day, almost everything was selling and getting very, very good money. And people stayed right to the very end. So it was very interesting, you know, out of 100 and 14 lots I think that we had uh, we ended up selling about 59 cars and in an auction where we have reserves and only 16 were unreserved that's a that's a solid ratio especially considering the weather we had the day before um, and so we're very very proud of it it was a successful sale very well attended we will improve because we have we learned some things uh, but absolutely thrilled and so thankful for the support and next year we're, uh, we're excited for our 40th. Um, I actually do a, a whole bunch of things. I've been working here for my third year now uh, from checking vehicles in, making sure they get parked in the appropriate spot uh, and then on auction day I will be helping drive cars across the block and making sure that they get out in the right order. First off I'm passionate about cars uh, and second off there's, there's so many people that you meet. There's a lot of interesting characters. Uh, the variety of vehicles is just crazy. Uh, you've got old stuff, newer stuff. I mean, obviously everything's got some degree of collectability. Um, there's just a lot of unique people and vehicles. There's a really awesome Ford truck, a 35 Ford truck, that I had the uh, experience to drive. And uh, I haven't been in anything like that, for sure. And every year, it just, you know, it gets a little bit more fun, uh, probably because it's a little less stressful. The first year I did it, it was I was a little bit more like, uh, you know, deer in the headlights kind of thing. But uh, now it's just, it almost seems second nature. And so it's, uh, you know, every year, same time, same place. It's uh, something I plan on doing for a while. Are you, are you happy to have this auction still within your family? And do you see it to go generations down? Well, I am happy. Jeff, of course, is, I've got six of my own sons and Jeff is a nephew. So here Jeff stepped in where my own six natural kids were not so interested. And he's a car crazy guy. He's, he's a car nut, we call us. And I, I fit into that category. I'm delighted that he's done well with it. There's always a disadvantage selling something to your family. And he did, he bought the auction. He didn't just get it given to him. So credit to him for his talent and his enthusiasm and his excitement. He's done a great job with it and I'm delighted for him. So when a vehicle gets sold, it, we have them drive in first off 
they get auction, and then we push them out. And you'll see the young crew that we had, two of them being my sons, some being volunteer friends of theirs, and kids that just love cards and are happy to be a part of it. Very respectful young men that are happy to be there. We have them drive in, shut the vehicles off, and we push them out. But once they get sold, they go out and they go into one of the other arenas and they're stored there. We rent that facility until Monday evening when all the vehicles are picked up. Um, and we don't release the vehicles, of course, until they're, until they're uh, picked up or paid for. Some people we know very, very well, and they actually will take the vehicle on the day, on Saturday. But it's such a busy and hectic time. What happens when you're the successful bidder is one of our staff will come up to you with the bidder uh, form, bidder acceptance form. You have to sign it, take that form, go into our office and fill out the paperwork, lay your deposit down, and uh, then you come back on Monday. You'll have the VIN number and insurance, and uh, you can pick up your vehicle and, and register it, um, you know, anytime. Here's the next example of a beautiful car. 1969 Chevelle, two-door hardtop in that glacier blue, and what a spectacular color that is. Chevelle, obviously one of the most successful nameplates for Chevrolet, especially to collectors. This is the real deal, 396, 325 horsepower, turbo 400 transmission. Factory, factory air conditioning, I do need to make a correction. It is not a uh, numbers matching car. Uh, th this is all correct, 396 with a turbo 400 transmission. Factory air conditioning, bucket seats with console, 12-volt positive traction rear end, and, of course, the optional SS wheels on this car. And you have an opportunity today to drive it home. Get on it. Get on it. Bid 20. I'm bid 20. I'm at 20,000 here now, what do you think? Would you go 21, would you go 21, would you go 21, would you go 21, would you go 21? 20,000, I'll bid now 21. I'm at 20, now 21. I'm at 20, now 21. I'm at 21 here now, what do you think? Would you go 22, would you go 22? The SS 396 package was a $347 package back in the day. Can you imagine, can you imagine the value now that that's been tacked on with that small little option? The Super Sport option gave you the 325 horse 396, different hood, everything else, as you can see here. Am we missing anybody? 22,000. I'm at 21, not 22. I'm at 21 here, not 22. Would you go 22? 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 Would you go 22,000? Bit 21, 22. I'm at 21, 22. I'm at 21,000 here, not 22. Would you go 22? Would you go 22? Would you go 22? Would you go 22? Two to bit, not three. I'm at 22, not three, not four, not four. There we go. Four, not 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 four. 23, not 24. I'm at 23, 24. We got a ways to go, boys. 23, 24. I'm a 23 here, not 24. Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Would you go 24? Bid a few more times. I'm telling you, boys, we've got a long way to go here. If nobody's interested, we're going to have to drive the car. Beautiful, beautiful car. Ready to go. You don't need to spend. You're getting free labor on all the work that's doing. 23, 24. I'm a 23 here, not 24. Would you go 24? 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 23,000, 24. We're going to drive the car. 24. We're going to try and swing a deal here. If we can swing a deal, we can. This guy's a swell guy. I can tell. <laughs> I'll tell you, we do everything we can to we really swing a do. deal here we in Okotoks. We stick Pee-wee on him every single time. Pay attention to what's going away here, folks. Oh, wait a minute. We've got an offer here. Don't let him get out of the building. Pee-wee's working his tail off to do close. a deal here. Get in we on it, folks. We just did a deal. 31, anybody? I have sold the car for $30,000. Right on, he says, right on. Thank You're you to our consigner, and congratulations to the new buyer. Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights
sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. All those people that come down, uh, the Milligan Drive, for example, which normally has no parking on it during the collector car auction, it's lined with vehicles the entire length. And those, the people are coming down, they're also supporting our restaurants, our gas stations and so on. So businesses overall in town benefit from having the collector car auction in town. People are able to go in there and look around. They also then use the two arenas. Uh, the Piper Arena stores vehicles and then the auction takes place in the Murray Arena. And there is seating in there. They have seats down below on the, on the floor. There is uh, the bleacher seating if people wish to sit in the bleachers and watch also. So I think it's a great use for the Recreation Centre. This year more than ever we had emails just saying thanks for the event. Um, it was really fun to be at. Uh, which for me was very encouraging because we took some some risks with our advertising and spent an awful lot more money and and even things like our program you know a 24 page color program with feature cars never ever been done in the in the history chances are good in a few years you'll see some of these cars come through once the buyers have had their time with them and want to move them on and um, so the feedback this year was absolutely terrific and very very encouraging when we can rest, recuperate, take a breath, we'll be able to absorb it and really, really take it all in. Original radio, bucket seats, and console on this car. New Edelbrock, 500 CFM, four barrel and intake manifold. Original two barrel and manifold are included, so it's been upgraded. However, the original parts are there. New dual exhaust system. The restoration has been correct to stock and was completed about 12 years ago by Calgary Mopar parts manager, so you know the parts are right and they were sourced correctly. New four barrel carb dual exhaust again, as I mentioned, uh, are the only modifications on this Barracuda away from original. This is a nice, clean, straight up car, 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. Lot 175 was a very, very neat car in that it was consigned with us, I believe it was last year, and ran into mechanical difficulties. And so it didn't show up. And the consigner was very, um, very honest about it and compassionate and understood our situation about advertising cars and having it not show up. And he was the type of individual that, uh, a man of his word, consigned the car again this year. I've got a bit of 7,500, now 10. I got 75, sir, do you wanna go 10? 75, now 10, I'm at 75, now 10. I'm at 7,500 here, now what do you think? Would you go 10, 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 7,500, 10, now 12 and a half. I'm at 10, now 12 and a half. I'm at 10, now 12 and a half. I'm at 10,000 here, now what do you think? Would you go 12 and a half, 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 10,000, would you go 12 and 11, didn't 12. 11, didn't 12. I'm at 11, now 12. I'm at 11,000, now 12. I'm at 11,000 here, now 12, now 13, would you go 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 13, would you think, go ahead, go 13, would you go 13, would you go 13, 12, bit not 13, 12, 13. 12, 13, 12, 13. I'm at 12,000 here now, but I think we go 13, bid now 14, would you go 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 14, 13, bid now 14, 14, bid now 15, 14, now 15. I'm at 14, now 15, 15, bid now 16, 15, bid now 16. I'm at 15 here now, but I think we go 16, would you go 16, would you go 16, would you go 16, would you go 16, bid now 17, would you go 17, would you go 17, 16, bid now 17. I'm at 16 here now, 17, would you go 17, would you go 17, 16 and a half, bid now 17, 16 and a half. 16 and a half bid no 17. 16 and a half bid no 17. Cars selling. I'm at 17. 16 and a half bid no 17. Would you go 17? Would you go 17? Are you okay? 17 now 17 and a half. 17 narrowed again, Alan. 17 and a half. I'm at 17. What do you think? Would you go 17 and a half? Would you go 17 and a half? Would you go 17 and a half? All original other than exhaust. 17. 17 and a half. He's in. 17 and a half. 17 and a half. I'm at 17. 17 and a half. I'm at 17 and a half. Would you go 17 and a half? 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 Would you $17,000 bid now five. $17,000 bid now five I have. Last chance, seventeen five. Sold it, 17000 I was thrilled to have it because it was an absolutely beautiful car. And um, you know we ended up selling that car for him for $17,000, which I think was actually a very good buy for the buyer. Uh, the seller did fine, he wanted to move on. But that was a really nice car at a very good value and I was, uh, I was thrilled to have it back and be able to move that car for him.
Complete frame-off restoration is what you're seeing here with fender skirt, sun visor. Those are some of the cool options that are added on on this one. New 12-volt wiring system. Some of these older cars, of course, the 6-volt system still intact. Uh, no big deal, but you just need to be aware of that. This one has been upgraded to no, the uh, new 12-volt wiring system, so 12-volt battery works just fine. Uh, Offenhauser heads, the Offenhauser intake, the four-barrel Holly carb comes with the adapter plate, 12-volt uh, Mallory cell. Everything's been uh, upgraded for you. Dual exhaust, it's got overdrive, new spark park uh, plug wires, and the new 12-volt heater fan motor. 1951 Mercury sedan with the suicide doors, complete frame-off restoration, two photo albums confirming the complete restoration work that has been done to this vehicle. Boy, oh boy, you see him here today. Okie doke, boys, have a look. He brought you a dandy today. It's a beauty. Have a look. Let's have. 15, got 15, now 17 and a half. I'm at 15, now 17 and a half. I'm at 15,000 here now, what do you think? We go 17 and a half, we go 17 and a half, we go 17 and a half, we go 17 and a half. 15,000 will bid to 17, five. 17, five. 15,000, now 17, five. Harley, help me out. I'm at 15, now 17 and a half. I'm at 15,000 here now, we're 17 and a half, now 20, what do you go 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 20, 17 and a half, bid now 20, what do you go 20, what do you go 20? 17 and a half, help me. 20, 17 and a half. I'll help you. I'm at 17 and a half here now. 20, what do you go 20? 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 17 and a half bid now 20. Nice, nice car boys. You know what these are worth. 17 and a half. Now 20. I'm at 17 and a half here now. 20, what do you go 20? 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 We're 17 and a half bid now 20. 20,000. 20,000. 17 and a half. 20. What do you think? 20,000. I'm at 17 and a half here now. 20, now 22 and a half. We go 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 20. Harley. Harley, my friend. Harley, give me 21. 20, now 21. I'm at 20 here, now 21. Would you go 21? 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 20,000 will be no 21. Would you go 21? Would you go 21? Would you go 21? 40,000. You can't. Not restored, not for this 21. If you're a collector and you're here today and you're not on this car, you're missing out. 21. 21. 20, now 21. 21, now 2, 21 bit, now 22. I'm at 21 here, now 22. We got 22, now 23, we got 23, we got 23, we got 23, 22, 23. I'm at 22, 23, 23 bit, now 24, 23, 24, 23 bit, now 24. I'm at 23,000 here, now 24, we go 24, we go 24, we go 24, we go 24, 23 bit, now 24 bit, now 25, now 25, now 25. Now 24 bid, now 25. I'm at 24 here, now 25, but I think we go 25, 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 24 bid. Pee wee, 25, beside you, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 24 bid, now 25. I'm at 24 here, now 25, we go 25, go 25, go 25, go 25, 25, now 6. 25 bid, now 26. I'm at 25, now 26. I'm at 25, now 26. I'm at 25 here, now what do you think? Would you go 26? Would you go 26? Would you go 26? Now 7, would you go 7? Would you go 7? Would you go 7? Would you go 7? 26, 27. 27, Car is 27, selling. 27, 26 bid now 27. I'm at 26, 27, 27, 26 bid now 7. What do you think? Would you go 7? 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 26 bid now 27. 7,000, 27, 26 bid, 26, 5. What about 5? 5. 26, 5. I'm at 26, 5. I don't think. Would you go 5? 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 26, 5. 26, 5. 26, 5. Are you sure, sir? 26, 5. Give me a shot. I'm at 26,000 here now. Five, 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 five. Don't let us miss it. 25, 26, five, 26, five, 26, five. Last chance. 26, five. I have sold it your way. 26,000. Thank you very much. 176, 1951 Mercury. That car traveled quite a ways to come to the auction, and it was um, a dilemma as to the whole bidding process as it was going on as the seller was not sure should I take it shouldn't I take it you know what should I do and I was standing with him and saying you know this is real money and his friend came over and said take the deal take the offer this is real money and he looked at him and said okay and we sold the car right then for twenty six thousand dollars so traveled a long way and uh, sold the car which is of course the point and he was happy with the money he got Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC.
You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. Lot 178, 1965 Ford Mustang Coupe, and this thing was spectacular. Beautifully restored, great color, kind of the bluish color, really a, an absolute pin. In Caspian Blue, a lot of eyeball on this car through yesterday. Interesting to see what it does today. White interior, 289 in there. 289 A-code car with a, a four-barrel, 225 horsepower, uh, which has been rebuilt right to original. This car is spectacular in, in every right. Purchased from the original owner of 40 years, which was purchased this car originally at Macklin Ford here in Calgary. Uh, was picked up at the factory in Dearborn, Michigan in May 1965. There is an original bill of sale from Macklin Ford included. Again, to the Calgary collector, this is the car you want. Original owner's manual, appraisal statement. Underwent a four-year rotisserie restoration, finished in 2009. These rotisserie, uh, rotisserie restorations are not done over a short period of time. Again, this is a four-year process. One worse, uh, first place in the 65 to 69 stock category at the World of Wheels Penticton, including second place award here in Calgary. 65 Mustang. Boy, oh boy, if you like the Mustangs, here it is. Original, nice, nice, clean. Who wants to start this? Who said 10? I'm at 10,000, 10, 12 and a half. I'm at 10, 12 and a half. I'm at 10, 12 and a half, 15, now 17 and a half, 17 and a half, but no 20, now two and a half, we go to two and a half, we go to two and a half. 20, now 22 and a half. I'm at with you, 20, now 22 and a half. I'm at 20, now two and a half. I'm at 20 here, now what are they? 22 and a half, bid now 25. I'm at 22 and a half, now 23, 23, bid now 24. I'm at 23, now 24. Making it easy, 23, 24. I'm at 23,000 here, now 24. Would you go 24, would you go 24? This is a numbers matching car. 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25. Now six, now six, now six. 25 bid now 26. I'm at 25,000 here, now what do you think? Would you go 26, would you go 26, would you go 26, would you go 26, 25,000, all bid now 26. 26,000, 26,000, do not miss it. 26, 27, 26, 27, 27, 27. I'm at 26, now seven, what do you think? Would you go seven, would you go seven, would you go seven, would you go seven, 26,000, over here, 26. Now seven, now seven, now eight, now eight, now 8,000, 28. I'm at 27, now 28. It's going to a new home, 27 bid now 28. I'm at 27 here, not 28. What do you go, 28? What do you go, 28? What do you go, 28? This car is original Caspian blue. Very, very rare. Very it is rare numbers, color. Numbers matching. 28, now 9. 9, now 30. Now 30, now 30. 29 bid, now 30. I'm at 29 here, now what do you think? What do you go, 30? 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 29, now 30. I'd love to see that girl in that car. 29, now 30. I'm at 29 here, now what do you think? What do you go, 30? What do you go, 30? Wouldn't you like to be in that car, honey? I'm at 29 here, now what do you think? What do you go, 30? What do you go, 30? What do you go, 30? I'll give you one chance. 29 and a half. 29 and a half. Are you okay? Half, now 30. 29 bid now 30. I'm at 29 and a half here now 30. What do you go 30 now? 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 30. Now 30 and a half. I'm at 30,000. Now 30 and a half. I'm at 30. Now 30 and a half. I'm at 30,000 here now. What do you think? What do you go half? What do you go half? What do you go half? Last chance. 30 and a half. 30 and a half. What do you say? I'm at 30 here now. What do you think? What do you go 30 and a half? What do you go 30 and a half? What do you go 30 and a half? Take your chance. I know. 30 and a half I have. You got it? 31. Now two, 32, 32, 31, 32, 31, 32. I'm at 31, 32, 30 and a half, 31 and a half. Now 32, 32 and a half, 32 and a half, 32 and a half. I'm at 32 and a half, and a half, 33. I'm at 32 and a half here. Now 33, would you go 33, would you go 33, would you go 33, would you go 33? I have sold it, 32 and a half. I don't think the seller was too thrilled maybe to be selling it, uh, but you know, p car guys move on and they buy stuff and move on. And I thought it traded hands at a very fair 32.5. It was a reserved car and the seller was happy with the money, so he let the car go, $32,500. Lot number 181. You know what? And there's a lot to go with this vehicle. 1957 model 3100. 
This is a Barrett Jackson truck with all of the documentation that you might expect. Everything has been done. Again, this was uh, bought, completed, and that's how you see it here with the 350 with modified uh, to the V8 automatic. Short wheelbase, step side truck. This is what people are looking for. Lots of eyeball on this again in black. It, you're not gonna, you will not find them, number one. You won't find a better example of this the way it's been set up and perfectly preserved and restored the way uh, it should be. 1957 model, 3100 Chevy. The real show. Have a look. Who wants to start it? Let's have 20,000. Hobbit 20, what do you say? Hobbit, I'd take 15. 15, now 20. 15, now 20. 17 and a half. 17 and a half, bid now 20. I've been said 20, now 22 and a half. I've been 22 and a half, now 25. I've been 22 and a half here, now 25. We're good 25, 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 now 7 and a half. 25, 7 and a half. I've been 25, now 7 and a half. I've been 25, 7 and a half. I've been 25 here, now what do you think? We're good 7 and a half, we're good 7 and a half, we're good 7 and a half, now 30. We're good 30, we're good 30, we're good 37 and a half, now 27 and a half, bid now 30. Bid 27 and a half, now 30. I've been 27 and a half, Harley, 30. Give me 30. I've been 27 and a half, now 30. Are you going to go? I've been 27 and a half here, now 30. Would you go 30? Would you go 30? Would you go 28? 28. What do you want to do? 28. Now 9. 8 now 9. 9 now 30. 9 now 30. Now 30. We're going to get there. Everyone's going to go. 30. 30. 29 bid now 30. How about 29? 30. You can go it. Go ahead. Ask mother. Look, she says, I like it. I like it. Go 30. I'm at 29. Now 30. I'm at 29. Harley, 30. You okay? 30. Harley, give me 30. 29. Now 30. You okay? 30. I'm at 29. Now 30. I'm at 30. Charlie, go see. 29. 30. I'm at 29. Right here. 30. 30. 30 with the glasses on his hat. 30. With the dyed hair. 30, 29, now 30. I'm at 29, now 30. I'm at 29 here, now what do you think? Would you go 30, 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 would you go You can't hide. I just did Pee Wee's right. here. You know, with 30, black vehicle, give me 30. One. 29, 30, 30, thank you. 31, 31, 31, 30, now 31. I'm at 30, now 31. I'm at 30 here, now what do you think? Would you go 31, 32, would you go 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 32, now 33, 33, 33, 32, 33, 33, 34, 33, 34. I'm at 33, now 34. I'm at 33, now 34. 34, but now 35. I'm at 34, now 35. I'm at 34, now 35. 35, yep. It's going to go to a new home. It's going to sell. Now 6, 36, 35, 36. I'm at 35, now 36. I'm at 35 here now. What do you think? Would you go 36? Would you go 36? It's selling. Would you go 36? Would you go? It's going to a new home. 36. There's no appraisal. 36. 35, 36. I've been 35 here now. What do you think? Would you go 36? Would you go 36? Would you go 36? Sold it almost One last crack. 36. 36,000. $35,000 bid. Now 36. I have 36. 36. I know he's thinking. I'm and thinking he's high. high. 36. 36. $35,000 bid. Now 36. I have now seven. Now seven. 37. Now eight. Now eight. 37 bid now 38. Stay with him. 37 bid now eight. I'm at $37,000 bid now. What do you think? Would you go eight? Would you go eight? Would you go eight? Last chance. 38. 38. 38. I have. Get on it. Is he thinking or is he not thinking? $37,000 bid now 38. I have. 38. $37,000 bid now eight. I have. Don't let it go for that. 38. Sold the car truck. $37,000. Lot 181 was a very interesting uh, vehicle in our sale. 1957 Chev 3100 pickup. It was this beautiful black truck and it crossed the block and it generated a lot of attention. Now there's the big auction in the United States, the Barrett-Jackson auction, and it was started about the same time actually as the Okotoks auction. It's obviously just this huge uh, conglomerate really it's just a massive business and, and they've been very successful well this truck was bought at the Barrett Jackson auction years ago and a significant amount of money was spent on the truck and that uh, lends itself to what I said earlier just because of what somebody pays for a truck doesn't mean that that's necessarily what it's worth but the fella who bought it wanted the truck badly and of course the the kind of cachet of it being a Barrett Jackson vehicle. But it came to Okotoks and uh, our buyer was absolutely thrilled to get that vehicle. He paid $37,000 for it and I think that was an exceptional buy this year at the Okotoks auction.
Skatoke's Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. Lot 159, I was absolutely thrilled when I got the call about having this car in the auction. 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner Hemi car. And that's the creme de la creme of the whole Hemi or Plymouth Mopar world. Is this original one of 22 Canadian built Hemi Roadrunner cars. And it's in absolutely stunning condition. Just beautifully restored and owned by enthusiasts since really the, the 80s when it was restored and whatnot. And just, I mean, so rare that it draws a crowd no matter what. I mean, the Hemi is, is just the pinnacle of the muscle car world. And here was this very special Hemi car with a four speed. Um, owned by a true enthusiast and all around just a great guy who's been coming to the auction for years and years and years. Uh, this is a numbers matching 1969 Hemi Roadrunner, uh, one of 22 cars that came to Canada. It was restored by my friend Dennis Zentner and I was fortunate enough to purchase it from him in 1986 and I've been driving it to car shows and sunny days and enjoying it till now. What is your favorite thing about the Okotoks car auction? Uh, I think it's seeing all of the people in the car industry and just watching what they do with their cars and meeting them and talking to them and seeing my friends here every year and making new friends. 426 cubic inch V8 with two-time uh, quad car. Car was professionally restored by Dennis Zentner to factory original condition, new old stock parts and excellent original parts throughout using minimal reproduction aftermarket parts. This car again done right. It was Motor Trends Car of the Year back in 1969. It's a numbers matching car. This is what everybody's looking for. The people you're seeing looking under the hood know these things. They're looking at this car with great interest. Consider was lucky enough to purchase this car in 1996 and took it to car shows only on sunny days. Car spends most of its life in a heated garage uh, with a tailored cover on it. Surprise uh, at that. This car was originally sold in Vancouver, BC. It is a Canadian car and is one of only 22 that were made for sale in Canada. There's what you want to hear. One of only 22 made for sale in Canada, 1969. Four-speed car, the true Roadrunner road 426. If you want to cruise the road, here she is, boys. Who wants to own it? 70,000. I'm bit 70. I'm bit 70,000 here now. Two and a half. We go two and a half. We go two and a half. We go two and a half. 70,000 a little bit now. Two and a half. I'm bit 70. Now two and a half. I'm bit 70,000 here now. What do you think? We go two and a half. 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 Boys, oh boys, this is a good car. 72 and a half. 70. Two and a half. I'm bit 70. Now two and a half. I'm at 70,000 here now. What do you think? We go two and a half. 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 70,000 all a bit now. Two and a half. 70, two and a half, 70, two and a half. I'm at 70, now two and a half. Anybody looking? Two and a half. No clone, yeah, that's right. These are clone prices. This is the real deal, 426 Hemi engine, which was a $1,200 option back in 1969, but brings big, big dollars to collectors today. What did he tell you, Charlie? This car has, for the first time, been offered in 18 years. This oh. is an opportunity of a car that you have not seen before. 70,000, now two and a half. I'm at 70,000 here now. What do you think we go two and a half? We go two and a half. 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 72.5. I'm at 70. Now two and a half. We go two and a half. We go two and a half. We go. Anybody want it? Two and a half. Now 75. I'm at 72 and a half here now 75. I'm at 72 and a half here now 75. We go 75. We go 75. We go 75. We go 75. 72 and a half now 75. I'm at 72 and a half here now 75. We go 75. We go 75. We go 75. You guys know what they're worth. Bid on it. How many times did you get a Where are we at, Pee Wee? A on real this? one. First 72 and a half. in 18 years. 75,000. 
72 and a half here now, 75, what do you go 75, what do you go 75, give me one shot, just for fun. 75, I'm at 72 and a half here now, 75, we go 75, we go 75, Harley, get in here. I'm at 72 and a half here now, 75, we go 75, we go 75, we go 75, we go 75. Anybody looking? Hemi remains and top of its class for collectors. The road runner is certainly there as well. It is a rare, rare bird. And One you of could 22 own. for Canada, Canadian car. 22, that's all. And we're looking for 75, 72 and a half, 75. I'm at 72 and a half here now, 75, we go 75, we go 75, we go 75, we go 75. Boys, we're a long way from home plate. What's the bottom dollar? It's $100,000 today. A $100,000 car. And you saw it here in Okotoks, Alberta. I was nervous about that car because if it crosses the block and bidders don't understand what they're looking at, it could we could embarrass the car, we could embarrass the bid, the consigner, we can embarrass the auction. In my mind, that was a you know a six figure six figure car. You know that's a hundred thousand dollar car uh, to the right buyer on the right day. Uh, we ended up getting it bid up to about 72.5, which is not an insult to the car. In many ways, it's still a buyer's market. Um, cars are a little bit recessed, everything's coming back, but uh, even the, the seller was happy that his car was being appreciated at the value of 72.5, and I was fully thrilled to have it in the auction. Not necessarily surprised that it didn't sell, but give us a couple more years, and a car like that is easily a six figure car in Okotoks. One of the interesting things on the day, uh, the Saturday, was that there were vehicles there that were so good and so clean and so proper, but it almost appeared there was like this gap in the bidding that the bidders didn't really even know what they were looking at. It's, it's almost like we have to create more bidder awareness that from now on there's going to be really good cars. And one car in particular that kind of surprised me was this stunning Austin Healey that came uh, to the auction, a 1964 Austin Healey. Um, it came from Kelowna to this sale and it was a stunning car, just restored beautifully. And uh, I mean, on a good day, that's a $60,000 car. Uh, on that day in Okotoks, it bid to about $30,000. Folks, this is a true icon of British open road motoring. 1964 Austin Healey 3000 Mark II BJ7. This car was restored in Chicago in 1999 at the cost of over $60,000. Interestingly, the car has never seen rain other than, would you believe, yesterday. It is restored to perfection. What you see is what you get. This is a first class restoration on a BJ7, these cars are becoming as sought after as any open top roadster in the world, including the Porsche 356, which many people compare to when it comes to increase in value. This right here is the real deal. It was a ground up restoration, so every nut and bolt and piece of metal on the car was taken off and redone. And it's uh, pretty much back to its original condition when it rolled off the assembly line in 1964 in the UK. How long have you had it for? I've had it for eight years. And do you have any good memories with this little car behind you? Oh yes, I have lots of, lots of fun memories. Uh, where these cars really shine is on narrow, winding, paved mountain roads. I mean, they don't go that fast, but they, they corner uh, extremely well. And, uh, you know, having the the wind blowing in your hair on a nice sunny day driving through the mountains, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. Have a look, boys. Got a bit of 30. Two and a half. Bit 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30,000 here now. What do you think? We go two and a half. 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 Thirty thousand dollars. Bit now two and a half. Thirty. Two and a half. I'm at 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30,000 here now. What do you think? We go two and a half. 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 Get in the action, boys. Get on the cars. 32.5. I'm at 30,000 here now. Two and a half. We go 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 two and a half. 32 and a half. 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30,000 here now. Two and a half. We go 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 32 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 and a half. 30. Two and a half. Anybody interested in the car? Beautiful car. You know how sought after they are. Get on them. 
Boys, oh boys, I can't believe it. Not even a shot on it. 32 and a half. How about 32 and a half? We go two and a half, we go two and a half, we go two and a half. Anybody looking? We're looking for... Folks, these 44. are world-class cars in front of you. 44. We're passing up some real opportunities and some world-class cars. In my mind, we have to broaden our European buyer uh, database probably a little bit more and the fact that we have to bring uh, bring more awareness to the fact that we're only going to have good cars you know from here forward Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. The highest bid vehicle on the day was actually um, a 2006 Hummer, if you can believe it, in a collector car auction. And I scratched my head and thought, should I even have this in our sale? Uh, because what defines a collector car? Well, in many cases, it's rarity. And here was a proper H1 Hummer uh, with uh, a Cummins diesel in it, where a lot of them were, you know, produced with the gas engine. But this was even more rare. It's the Alpha A1 with the Cummins turbo diesel. So it was very, very rare. And I'm looking at the audience as the bidding's going on, and people are scratching their heads because they're having no idea. They had no idea what it was, what they were looking at. This is a killer, killer machine. What you see here, 2006 Hummer, low mileage vehicle. It's got every option on it that you could possibly imagine. You're, you're probably looking at it. See, it's been a while since I've seen one. As a matter of fact, in this combination, I doubt you have seen one. These are so rare. This is a Duramax diesel, turbo diesel, all black as you can see. It's got the, I think the Gila lights on the top. Uh, the roof rack is an option. It's unbelievable. If you've ever ridden in these, they're just, they're an experience just to be in them. Uh, these things are pulling into the mid 140, 150,000 mark down in the south. Be interesting to see where this one goes. It's an 2006 Hummer H1 Alpha with the Duramax diesel. With the Duramax diesel. I can't believe it. 75,000. I'm bit 75, now 80. I'm bit 75, now 80. I'm at 75,000 here now. What do you think? What do you go 80? 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 $75,000 bid, now 80. You can drive this at night. See all the way up down. 75, now 80. I'm at 75, now 80,000. I'm at 75,000 here now. What do you think? What do you go 80? 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 80, 85. $80,000 bid now 85. I'm at 80, now 85. I'm at 80,000 here now. What do you think? What do you go 85? 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 80,000 bid now 85. 80,000, now 85. I'm at 80,000 here now. What do you think? What do you go 85? What do you go 85? 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85. I'm at 85,000 dollar bid now 90. What do you go 90? What do you go 95? What do you go 95? What do you go 95? What do you go 90? What do you go 95? What do you go 95? 90,000 dollar bid now 95. I'm at 90, now 95. 95, are you okay? I'm at 90,000 here now. What do you think? What do you go 95? We're going 90. Just went to the next bull riding. I'm at 90, now 95. I'm at 90 here now. 95, we're going 95. 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 90,000 dollar bid now 95. Anybody looking? 90, 95. 95, 90, now 95. This is the turbo model, folks, not just the Duramax. This is the turbo. This is a rare truck. Rare, rare truck. 95,000. We're looking more for 125, boys. It was ultra rare, and it bid up to $90,000 and uh, didn't sell because, frankly, the car uh, could be worth uh, worth more than that, but that was our high bid for the day, was $90,000 on the uh, A1 Hummer. We're going to improve the auction every year. Part of it is we have to create uh, more awareness that we exist. Calgary expanded so quickly that in my mind there's still a large population of people that still don't know our auction exists. So we have to get that word out and let people know. There's a great deal of enthusiasm and car culture in Calgary, but still not enough 
know that we that we are around and that we operate so we have to do that we also have to make it a more streamlined event for people and more of a destination where it's not just the cars that they're coming to look at there's more vendors and there's more opportunity to hang out and spend the day and so those are improvements that will take part of it frankly is my confidence in in the event and spending the money uh, to get these things in place and that's just time and experience I think. We did it 36 years and then Jeff took it over um, and this was our choice I mean I'm close to retirement from my medical practice now and uh, we decided that it was better to turn it over to the younger generations of course he's done a wonderful job with it. There are people that come bell to bell at this auction and just love it and stay so Okotoks is just ideal for this kind of thing because the town has character and uh, it lends itself to a neat event like this. He's got some history, same owner for the last 33 years. And it shows some patina from, you know, the 70s where it was added on to. The car's got a neat history to it. Jeff's going to add a little more to the car as well. Folks, this is a neat example in that it's almost a barn find. It's been in the same ownership for 33 years and very rarely driven. What you see here is a primarily original bodied car, uh, 327 engine with a four speed. Very, very nice classic for the road. Thanks, Jeff. Very classic, very ready to go. Got a $20,000 bid. Who's it going to go? 22 and a half. Bid 20, two and a half. I'm at 20. Now two and a half. I'm at 20,000 here now, but I think we go two and a half, 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 22 and a half, we go 22 and a half, we go 22 and a half, we go 22 and a half, 20,000, now 22 and a half. I'm at 20 here now, what do you think we go two and a half, 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 20, two and a half, 20, two and a half, yes, now five, 25, 25. I'm at 22 and a half here now, 25. I'm at 22 and a half here now, 25, we go 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 25, 25,000, 25,000. Beautiful, beautiful car. 22 and a half, 25,000. I'm at 22 and a half here now, 25. We go 25, 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 we go 25. You want a cruise route 66? Here's your car. 25, 25, 22 and a half bid now, 25. Long way from home plate, boys. Get a bid in. I'm at 22 and a half here now, 25. We go 25, we go 25. You can take it to your field of dreams. 22 and a half bid now, 25, 25, 25. We'll get the nitty gritty from Music City right here. Don't push him over the boys in front yet. We're, we're looking for 25. We'll see what he's going to say. 22 and a half bid now 25. I'm at 22 and a half here now 25. We'll go 25. We'll go 25. We'll go 25. What does he say? Pee Wee's the man making the deal here on the. Okay, Our boys, top goes ready? with this car as well. We're working to make this deal happen, folks. Boys, you'll have to move because we're going to push the car. As soon as he moves, you guys can drop down and get the rest. 22 and a half bid. No. What do you say, sir? You got 22 and a half. It's unreserved. And he's on at 22 and a half. Anybody else want in? 23? Here's a chance, folks. Here's a chance to get into a 62 Corvette Roadster convertible. 22 and a half is the bid. The car is no reserve now and selling. 23? I'm at 22 and a half here, now 23, would it go 23, would it go 23, would it go 23, would it go 23, 22 and a half bid, now 23. Anybody want in? 23,000? We sold the car for 22,500, the man that bids buys. Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC.
You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. It was bought brand new in 1979 by Giulio Gallo from Ernest and Giulio Gallo Wine. It's traveled all around the world on his executive yacht. Um, and that yacht was captained by a Canadian from Enderbury, British Columbia, and his name was William Gray. Uh, Giulio died tragically in the mid-90s where he flipped his Jeep over on the vineyard. And when the, his will was read, he willed it to the captain of his yacht. So the car comes to Canada, to Enderby, British Columbia, and I became aware of it then. And one thing led to another. We ended up buying it nine years ago and, and have cherished it ever since. You want more class? That's exactly what we've got in our next lot, lot number 150. It could be the Rodney Dangerfield of your own neighborhood. 1979 Rolls-Royce Shadow II. Car has uh, 50,000 miles and has a great, great history to it. Naturally, in 1979, only the wealthy, the wealthiest of the wealthy would have owned this car. And this particular car was owned by the, the wine mogul uh, Giulio Gallo of Ernest and Giulio Gallo uh, Wine Company. And he had this uh, particular Rolls Royce transported everywhere he was, whether it was on their jet or on their yacht. And he passed away tragically by flipping his ATV on the vineyard. Um, and the car was actually willed to his yacht captain, who was enamored with the car and would hand polish the car. You can see the hand-painted pinstriping on the car on the brown there is rubbed, uh, rubbed off, and that's because of Mr. William Gray giving the car loving attention. It's a magnificent car, 6.75 liter V8, which of course Rolls-Royce back in the day simply said it was adequate power. They never published their horsepower numbers. So there you have the story. This, wor this car has been around the world and it can be living in your garage. You'll have a story to tell. Your estate sale will bring a big crowd when they advertise this. Have a look, have a look. Who's gonna start it? 20, I'm at 20 anywhere. What do you think, would you go 20, 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 what do you think, would you go 1,000 near now, what do you think, would you go 16, 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 15, 16. I'm at 15, now 16. I'm at 15,000 near now, anybody look, would you go 16, would you go 16, would you go 16, would you go 16. A car with a history that you could own today. Bid 15, now 16. How about 15 here now? What do you think? Would you go 16? 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 15, now 16. How about 15? How do you think? Would you go 16? Would you go 16? Would you go 16? Would you go 16? Anybody else? 16,000. Anybody use it? 16, 17, 16, behind you, 17, right behind you. No, 16, right beside you, 20, 17, 16, 17. 16, 17, 16, 17. I'm at 16 here now. What do you think? Would you go 17? 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 Would you go 17,000? 17,000? 17,000? 17,000? 16, but no 17. I'm at 16, 17, 16, 5, now 17. 16, 5, now 17. Boy, the battle is on. 16, 5, bid no 17. I'm at 16, 5 here now 17. Would you go 17? 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 16, 5, bid no 17. 16, 5, now 17. 16, 5, now 17. 16, 5, now 17. What's your top offer on the car? What do we got to have out of that, Jeff? We got to still be 25. Hey! Yeah. Hey! 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Hello! I got 18. We need 20 today. Need 20 today. We need 20. We need 20. We've come number. down a long ways on this. It was 30. One of the celebrity cars, if you will, that was in the auction was the 1979 Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow II that was owned by Giulio Gallo. And that was a neat process in that at the end of the bidding, the seller and the buyer are negotiating and the seller throws out the option of how about a coin flip for 500 bucks. We need 20 guys. We dropped them. That's the number. 20 is the magic number. We yeah we're gonna start on the next one twenty thousand we need twenty. Smell the leather it's worth a thousand bucks.
Will you flip a coin for 500 bucks? It's not happening. Okay, here we go. Yes. Sold, the car, 19, sold. Five. Bargain of the sale right there. This is a 1969 Jaguar XKE, otherwise known as the E-Type. These cars have a 4.2 liter straight six engine with a four speed synchromesh gearbox. This is a two carburetor or twin carburetor car in the classic British racing green. The chrome wire wheels look fantastic. The interior and body are lovely. And this is a rare opportunity to own a fantastic example of the car that shocked the automotive world when it came out and quite simply, it is every bit as stunning as the day it rolled out of the assembly line. These cars are going up almost by the day and this is a fine example of a very nice driving E-Type. And here you have a chance to buy it. Don't miss out on it. Have a look. Have a look. What do you say? Who wants to own it? Let's start it. 20,000. Hobbit 20 here now. What do you think? Would you go 20? 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 Would you go to a $20,000 bid now? Two and a half. 20. Two and a half. Bid 20. Two and a half. 22 and a half. Hobbit 20. Now two and a half. Hobbit 20 here now. What do you think? Would you go two and a half? We go two and a half. We go 20. 22 and a half bid now 25. I'm at 22 and a half here now 25. We go 25. We go 25. We go 25. I got 23. 24. 24. 24. 25. 30. I got a bid of 30. You want to be 31? 30 is going to buy it. 31. I'm at 30 here now. What do you think? Would you go 31? Would you go 31? Would you go 31? We have sold it for $30,000. And with all these big muscle cars around, here's this svelte little European uh, road rocket. Stunning car. It crosses the block. The bidding is kind of, you know, stalling in the mid-20s and working its way up a little bit. And uh, the seller is thinking he's going to need at least the mid-30s, which in my mind is a very, very good buy for somebody. But, you know, seller's motivation is you just, you just never know. And so bidding is kind of stalling. And I look to the seller and say, you know, where are you at? And he says, well, get me 30. And we're not quite at 30 yet. And the bidding, the car is being rolled away. We're, we're going to move on and look over at who is the top bidder and kind of, you know, give him the sign, we need 30, and he nods yes. It almost shocked the automotive world when it came out in the early 60s. From the standpoint of Jaguar was basically guaranteeing it to do 160 miles an hour out of the box, out of the showroom. Its appearance, its design is absolutely spectacular, so much so that Enzo Ferrari himself called it the most beautiful front engine car ever made. Um, from that standpoint, you see it on the road today. It is shockingly attractive by any standards of any vehicle. Amazing to drive its performance. It is, if not more amazing today than it was when it was brand new. Wonderful, wonderful car that has had a profound impact on the automotive industry, actually. Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. Uh, 312 V8. Uh Completely restored. It uh, was purchased out of the Barrett-Jackson auction in Phoenix a few years back. 
I've had it stored inside ever since, uh, probably driven it about uh, maybe a thousand kilometers in total. It's never been in the rain other than two specks today. We just enjoy it on sunny days. Okay, a league of its own here. 1957 Thunderbird, the baby birds, the last of them right here. 1958 was a whole other situation, as I think we'll all agree. Power windows, power steering, power brakes, factory air. Got new floor mats, new trunk mats. Four barrel carb, the engine dress up kit is on it. Wide white wall bias tires, Kelsey Hayes wire rims, those are what they should have. Continental kit, the town and country radio fender skirts, and a new beige soft top. Can you imagine a beige top on top of that beautiful red? Boy, I'll tell you, if you've got a red-hot wife, you get her a red-hot car, and I'll tell you, Saturday night will never be the same again. Help yourselves. Help yourselves. 30,000. Bid 30. Let's go. 32 and a half. I'm at 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30,000 here now. What do you think? We go two and a half. 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 30,000. Now two and a half. I'm at 30. Now 32 and a half. I'm at 30,000 here now. What do you think? We go two and a half. 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 30,000 a little bit. Now two and a half. 30,000. Two and a half. Boys, help yourselves. I can't believe I thought you'd be all over this. 32 and a half. Not that clean, Pee Wee. You're right. Yep. 57 is the year to get as well. The uh, Thunderbird. 32 and a half. Bit 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30,000 here now. What do you think? We go two and a half. 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 30,000 a little bit now. Two. Two and a half. Now 35. I'm at 32 and a half here now. 35. We go 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 32 and a half. Now 35. 32 and a half. Now 35. I'm at 32 and a half here now, 35, we go 35, we go 35, we go 35, we go 30. Anybody looking here? 35,000. 35,000. I'm at 32 and a half here now, 35, we go 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 32. 35, seven and a half, seven and a half, sir. 35, seven and a half. I'm at 35, seven and a half. I'm at 35,000 here now, seven and a half, seven and a half. Now 40, would you go 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 40,000? 40. 40? I had 37 and a half over here. He's got to be 40. I'm at 37 and a half here. Now 40. Now two and a half. We go two and a half. We go two and a half. We go two and a half. Keep going, sir. 42 and a half. Bit 40. Two and a half. I'm at 40. Now two and a half. I'm at 40. Would you go two and a half? We go two and a half. 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 This is absolutely a priceless car. 42 and a half. Bit 40. Two and a half. I'm at 40. Now two and a half. The best here. Two and a half. Now 45. I'm at 42 and a half. Now 45. We go 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 42 and a half. Now 45. 42 and a half. Now 45. I'm at 42 and a half. Now 45. One of the other surprises was lot 154, the 57 T Bird. I mean, this thing was absolutely stunning. We got it bid up to $43,000. In my mind, the seller should have sold the car. In my mind, the bidder should have come up another three or four thousand dollars and got the car. So it was that fine line of the negotiation on that. A stunning car at very close to fair money, still a bit of a buyer's market, but that one was, we were so close to having a deal and we just couldn't get that made. But that was a very, very beautiful car. 43, right 44,000. I'm at 43 here now. What do you think? We go 44, we go 44, we go 44. Body off restoration. Bid now 44, we go 44, 43, bid now 44. $43,000 bid now 44. $43,000 bid now 44. I'm at 43 here now 44. Would you go 44? 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 43, 44, 44. Anybody else? Top dollar today we got is 43. We're looking for a little more money. We're looking for 55. 55 today. And I think yeah. you're going to find appraisals probably over 80 grand on that car. So um, I think the consigner is fair. You're right. Are we close? Or are we going to? Nope. Let's move it along. Move on, boys. Where's or the maybe driver? maybe we just keep it there. We'll all look at it for another 10 minutes, and perhaps somebody will feel inspired. How long have you been attending the Okotoks car auction? Oh, I think we first uh, came to the auction in probably 1980. Uh, I've probably missed a couple of years here and there uh, since that time, but uh, certainly try to be here every year. Lot 162, the 33 Chev. Um, 
Master Coupe 5 window car. Two-tone green, absolutely stunning. I mean, the interior of this car had the bow tie embossed everywhere and the headliner and in the seats and the floor mats. I mean, it was just shocking the amount of work and labor that went into this, but the fit and finish was absolutely stunning. This car was uh, built at Tim's Rod Shop in Polson, Montana, fished, finished three or four years ago and brought to Alberta in September of 2011. Folks, you need to see the interior of this car with the embossing of the bow tie and the leather. It is absolutely sa sensational. Done first class, world class really. It's just spectacular. And the two-tone green paint I think is just wonderful on the car. One thing you are seeing here today in Okotoks, Alberta, you're seeing some of the best cars in the world. You can go anywhere. You won't find better selection of cars better presented than you'll see right here. Get in on them. If you need one or you want one or you ever wanted one, this is the time to buy it. Have a look. Let's go. Who's at 40? I'm at 40. I'm at 40 anywhere. What do you think? Would you go 40? Would you go 40? Would you go 40? 35. Now 7 and a half. 45. 7 and a half. I'm at 45 here. Now 7 and a half. Would you go 7 and a half? 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 Yep, you're on. 45. 7 and a half. I'm at 45. 7 and a half. Who said it? 45. 7 and a half. I'm at 45 here. Now 7 and a half. Would you go 7 and a half? 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 45,000. 7 and a half. 45. 7 and a half. Yep. 45. 7 and a half. All steel body car. Now 50. Again, this is not now a 50. fiberglass. Now 50. Now 50. I'm at 47 and a half here. Now 50. Now 50. Now 50. Now 50. The guy walking. 50. I'm at 47 and a half. 50. 47 and a half bit. Now 50. I'm at 47 and a half here. Now what do you think? Would you go 50? 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 47 and a half. 48. 48. Try 48. Let's see if we can do something. 48. We're awful close. 48. 48. 47 and a half. Now 48. I'm at 47 and a half here, not 48. Would you go 48? 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 Custom Anybody car looking? cover, custom front bra, grill bug, bug screen, and a travel case along with it. Bow tie leather half. step pads. Who's got 47 All the features and a half. that go along with this car to be able to put it in your garage Island, and make it look beautiful and there. And of course, turn the key and you've got what you've got right in front of you. We're at 47 and a half. 48. 48. Somebody, jump. 48. 48. He's selling the car. It's going to a new home. 47 and a half. 48. I'm at 47 and a half here, not 48. Would you go 48? 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 47 and a half bit, not 48. Last chance. 48. Get in on this. Hands high. Sold the car your way out. 47.5. This was an old friend of mine who had called me out of the blue and said, I, you know, you're running this auction and, and I've got this neat car. What do you think? And of course, I'm always nervous dealing with, with old friends and whatever, because it just can be too much drama or whatever. But a uh, very knowledgeable car guy. So we, we decided we'd you know, put the car in the sale. And um, as it's crossing the block, it's getting active bidding and whatnot. And he kind of turns to me and you know, says, well, you know, if you'll do this, I'll sell it for this. And uh, you know, so thought about it and looked at him and said, are you serious? Because I'm thinking we're going to need a lot more money for this car. And he says, yeah, do it. So look at my auctioneers and say, sell the car. And we ended up getting $47,500 for that car. Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. This car in Matador Red, as you see it here, automatic transmission with a 400 V8 under the hood, functional hood tack, 200 R4 speed uh, automatic transmission, power top, which was optional in 1967. This car has got it. Seller has owned the vehicle since 1984, was originally a six-cylinder. The Firebird now has been pushed up to the 400 
D8. Coupled with the desirable 200 uh, R4 four-speed uh, automatic transmission. All new suspension bushings, new gas tank, front coils, rear multi-leafs, and recent Eagle G2 ti GT2 tires. Upgraded power brakes and NASCAR close ratio steering box, new Sanderson ceramic coated headers, spare tail lights, and console clock all go with the car. 67 Pontiac Firebird, rare find with the power top, which was an option for 67. And so there you are, convertible, ready to roll. Convertible, ready to roll. <laughs> Have a look, boys. Let's go. I'm bid 10, 12 and a half. I got a $10,000 bid, 12 and a half. I'm at 10,000 here now. What do you think? We go 12 and a half. 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 10,000 bid now 12 and a half. Bid 10, 12 and a half. I'm at 11, now 12, 11. Bid now 12. I'm at 11, 12. I'm at 11,000 here now. What do you think? We go 12, 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 11, 12. Bid now 13, we go 13, we go 13, we go 13, 13. Bid now 14. 13, bid now 14. 13, 14, 15. 15, 15, 15, 14, bid now 15. I'm at 14 here now. What do you think? Would you go 15, 15, 15, bid now 16? Would you go 16? Would you go 16? Would you go 16? Would you go 16? 15, 16, 15 and a half. Now 16, 15 and a half. Now 16. I'm at 16, 16 and a half. I'm at 16. Now 16 and a half. 16 and a half, bid now 17. I'm at 17 and a half. Now 18. I'm at 17 and a half here now. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18,000, 18,000. 17 and a half bid now 18. I'm at 17 and a half. Now 18. I'm at 17 and a half here now. What do you think? Would you go 18? Would you go 18? Would you go 18? Would you go 18? 18, 5. 18, 5. 18, 5. 18,000. Now 18, 5. I'm at 18,000 here now. What do you think? Would you go 5, 5, 5? Are you on 18? Would you go 5? Would you go 5? Would you go 5? 18, 5 bid now 19. Would you go 19? Would you go 19? 18, 5 bid now 19. I'm at 18, 5. Now 19. 19. Now 19, 5. I'm at 19. Now 19, 5. I'm at 19 here now. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 19 meter. Would you go 5? Would you go 5? 19, 5, now 20. 19, 5 bid now 20. I'm at 19, 5, now 20. I'm at 19, 5, 20, now 21. Would you go 21? Would you go I got in the back at 20. 20 and a half. I'm at 20, now 20 and a half. I'm at 20 here now. What do you think? 20 and a half, now 21. Would you go 21? Would you go 21? Sir, I think I would. It's, this is the one to drive to the rodeo, and you've got the rodeo queen beside you. 21, 21, 21. Now 2, now 2, 21, now 20 and a half. 21, now 20 and a half. I'm at 21, now 20 and a half. I'm at 21, now 20 and a half. I'm at 21 here now. What do you think? Would you go one half? 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 Now two, two. Would you go two? Would you go two? Would you go two? Would you go two? You're almost there. You're almost there. 22, 22. Now 22 and a half. You missed your turn. 22 and a half. I'm at 22, 22 and a half. I'm at 22. Now two and a half. I'm at 22 here now. What do you think? Would you go 22 and a half? Would you go 22 and a half? Car's gonna sell. It is selling. selling. 22 and a half. I'm at 22, two and a half. I'm at 22 here now. What do you think? Would you go two and a half? Give me a shot. 22 and a half. You okay? 22 and a half. Two and a half. Now 24. 22 and a half. 23. 23, Going 22 to and a half, bid now 23, 23, 23 and a half, 23 and a half, 23 and a half, I'm at 23, 3 and a half, I'm at 23 here, now what do you think, would you go 3 and a half, 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 22, would you go 3 and a half, would you go 3 and a half, 23,000, 3 and a half, 3 and a half, 3 and a half, Last chance, I'm at 23,000 here, what do you think, would you go 3 and a half, 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 go 3 and a half, you sure, 2350, I have sold it, $23,000. We're often, I guess, termed by many to be a bedroom community. We like to think that we've uh, improved. We're a destination also, but uh, one of the things, because of all the vehicles here, because of the interest in vehicles, because of the, the high value of collector cars over years, uh, I, I believe Okotoks uh, is very interested in what goes on at the collector. Yeah. The old Chevys, the old Fords, uh, they're all beautiful old, old girls. I saw some really old or some really nice motorcycles. Uh, I'm also into motorcycles, so it was interesting seeing a number of motorcycles come up for auction. It's a uh, bobber, and uh, it's called the Greeny. It's a 2009 Orange County Chopper. Again, uh, as we've seen with the last few, or the last two, uh, 113 cubic inch, 1,852 cc engine motors, these things along. These are very, very quick bikes and built to high specifications. Never registered, it is brand new, a brand new bobber. The Greenies Rolling Thunder frame was designed for riders who ride far and ride often. So if you uh, like to put on some mileage, this uh, might be the one for you with mean street tubes, bomber lower legs, and exposed twin shock styling. It's a, just a stunning, stunning bike. Uh, of course, the import dealer Pro-Am Motorsports has agreed to the 90-day warranty on this one as well. 
It pairs old school styling with the all new technology. Bike hand built by OCC. Wow, oh wow. If you like the chrome and you want to ride with the big dogs, this is what you get. This is what you get. Let's have 15, 15, bit 12 and a half. Now 15. I'm at 12 and a half here, not 15. Would you go 15? 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 What do you got? 13, 14, 13, 14. I'm at 13, 14, 14 bid, now 15. 14, now 15, now 16. 16, 16, 16, now 17. 16 bid, now 17. I'm at 16 here, now 17. Would you go 17? 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 16, 17. 17, go ahead. 17, how about 16 here now? What do you think? Would you go 17? 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 Boys, this is a great bike. 16, 17,000. How about 16? Now 17. How about 16 here now? What do you think? Would you go 17? 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 17, 17, but now 18. 17, now 18. How about 17? Now 18. How about 17? Now 18. How about 17 here now? What do you think? Would you go 18? Would you go 18? Would you go 18? What's the bottom dollar you got to have for your bike? 17, 18. I'm at 17, 18. I'm at 17, 18. What are you thinking? I'm at 17 here. Now, what do you think? Would you go 18? I can tell you the dollar new is $40,000 on this bike. We're a fraction of that. Still for a brand new bike with warranty. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. She's a dandy. She's clean as a whistle. 17, 18,000. 18,000. Think of the movies. 18, 18. 17, 18. I'm at 17,000 here now. What do you think? Would you go 18? 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 So we're looking for 25. You interested at all? What do you look forward to most at the Okotoks car auction? I look forward to the passion, the passion that all of the owners have of their vehicles. I look forward to hearing the story as to why they've got them. And I look forward to the excitement of new owners and I look forward to the bidding of these people on the cars that they're excited about getting. It's a wonderful, wonderful day. Car person or not, it's really, really, really a cool experience and truly look forward to it every year. Lee, of course, my brother, Grant Hill started the auction uh, 39 years ago and uh, recently my son Jeff purchased it from Jeff and Astrid his wife purchased it from Grant, I think three years ago. So it certainly does have a family interest to me. And of course, Jeff's interest has flown from being my son, I suppose. If you haven't been to one of these auctions before, get, you know, you must. It's a great, great, great experience for a car person, for sure. Okotoks Collector Car Auction on Shaw TV is brought to you by Jack Carter Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. You are watching the 2013 Okotoks Collector Car Auction Highlights, sponsored by the 40th Annual Okotoks Collector Car Auction, May 23rd through 25th, 2014. 1965 Shelby Cobra, here you go. Fuel injected, Vortex Supercharger, SS side pipes, and a Ford 88 rear end with a 373 ratio. Car was built in BC and finished in 1998, so it is registered as a 1998 Cobra 427. Frame is a 4 inch teal tube steel, suspension is Mustang, brakes all disc all around. Previous owner from Grand Prairie just installed the carbon fiber dash and all new pro comp gauges. Also rewired the car with new wiring, also recovered the seats in leather. A lot been done to this car, and these cars are not cheap to build to begin with. Since the seller has had it in 2008, he's put new factory five stainless steel exhaust pipes and added power steering, new rack and pinion. It comes with a tonneau cover, new factory five soft top and has, which has never been installed. Engine is a uh, high horsepower Ford 5 liter crate engine with Vortex supercharger pushing at 425 horsepower as well some documentation there with full appraisal on uh, 65 Shelby which is registered as a 98 Cobra 427. 
Here you go, boys. Here's a chance. 25? Yes, yes, yes. We got 25 to start. 25, now seven and a half. I'm at 25 here now. What do you think is seven and a half? It goes seven and a half. It goes seven and a half. It goes seven and a half. 25 bit now seven and a half. I'm at 25. Now seven and a half. I'm at 25,000. Seven and a half now 30. Would it go 30? Would it go 30? Would it go 30? Would it go 30? 27 bit now 30. 27 and a half bit now 30. I'm at 30. Would you go 30? 30 now two and a half. I'm at 27 and a half. Now 30. I'm at 27 and a half here now 30. Would it go 30? Would it go 30? Would it go? You. 27 and a half. Nothing. 27 and a half. Now 30. I'm at 27 and a half. Now 30. 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30. Now two and a half. I'm at 30. Now two and a half. We go two and a half. We go two and a half. 31. 31. 32. 31 bid. Now 32. I'm at 31 here. Now what do you think? Would you go 32? Would you go 32? Would you go 32? Would you go 32? He's not walking. No going with the bull riding. 32. 31. 32. I'm at 31 here. Now what do you think? Supercharge. Supercharge. 32. I'm at 31 here now. 32. Would you go 32? 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 Anybody looking? 31, 32, 31, 32. I'm at 31 here now. What do you think? Would you go 32? Would you go 32? Would you go 32? Would you go 32? Are we missing anybody? 32, 32,000. 31 bid now. 32. Anybody looking? 32, 32, 31 bid now. 32. <laughs> 31 and he'll wash it once a week. Oh, straight up here. 32, 33, 32, 33. I'm at 32, now 33. I'm at 32 here. Now what do you think? Would you go 33? 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 Would you go 32? Now 33. I'm at, it's unreserved. It's going. 32,000, 33. You want in? I'm at 32,000. What do you think? Would it go 33? 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 32,000. 33. Charlie, what does he say? Pee say, what does he say? 33, 33, 33, 32, would it go 33? 32,000. 33. I have sold it. 32,000. Congratulations. Excellent car. Well bought. Looks like a coupe, but it's not. This is a perfect vehicle to take a few people with. Look at the lines on this vehicle. And this, again, the way you want to find them, where the uh, car's not all smashed up, super clean. This car has been very, very well cared for. The trim is near impeccable. One owner, last 12 years, the car was used for weddings and all always kept inside. The 1957 issue of Popular Mechanics, the uh, special was rated with a uh, 0 to 60 mile per hour time of uh, just a little over 11 seconds and a fuel economy of 17 miles per gallon at 50 miles per hour. So that's still efficient by today's standards. 1957 Buick special in great, great condition. Let's see where we go on this one, Bob. It is lot number 190. Okay, boys, here, have a look. Gonna start this one where everybody can get in. Four thousand. Who's gonna buy it? Four. You got five. Good. Five. Now six. Six. Now seven. Six bid. Now six. eight. Nine. Eight bid. Now nine. Eight bid. Now nine. Eight bid. Now nine. Nine. Now ten. Nine thousand bid. Now ten. I'm at nine thousand here. Now what do you think? Would you go ten? Would you go ten? Would you go ten? Ten bid. Now eleven. I'm at ten. Now eleven. I'm at ten. Now eleven. I'm at ten thousand here. Now what do you think? Would you go eleven? 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 Ten thousand bid. Would you go eleven? Would you go eleven? Would you go ten? Ten thousand. Ten. Ten. Eleven. I'm at 10,000. Now 11. Car is I'm going at 10. To now home. 11. I'm at 10,000. You know what do you think? Would you go 11? 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 10, 5. 10, 5. What do you say? 10, 5. I'm at 10,000. You know, 10, 5. Would you go 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 10, 5? Anybody look? Would you go 10, 5? Would you go 10, 5? Would you go 10, 5? 10,000. Now 10, 5. I'm at 10,000. You know, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Anybody look? Would you go 5? Would you go 5? Would you go 5? 10,000. 5. 10,000. 5. There is a buy of the day. 10,000. Guys, cut his reserve in half. 10,000, 10, 5. I'm at 10,000 here. Now what do you think? Would you go 5, 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 10,500. Last chance. It's going to new home. 10, 5, 10, 5. She's going to a new home for $10,000. Lot number 191. 
1987 560SL. This little Mercedes is completely original. I've watched these things bring some big, big dollars very recently. Many Mercedes enthusiasts who consider the Mercedes 560SL to be a modern day collectible, and uh, I think most of us would agree if you've watched these come to sale. The amazing example is a one owner Calgary car that has literally never sat outside in the sun. Soft top has not been out of its compartment for 14 years. As a result, a factory new soft top has been just installed. The wheels are brand new chrome alloys. The car is absolutely outstanding. It's a very Hard to find vehicles in this condition, Mercedes in this condition, up for sale. They are a good, good investment. People seem to buy these, and if they do not, at least, at the very least, hold their value, you may be making some money in the next couple of years. 1987 Mercedes, it's the 560 SL. Have a look, boys. Here's a beautiful little car, convertible to go. Let's start it. 5,000. Who wants to start it? Hop at five anywhere. We go five. 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 Anybody want it? Five thousand. Cheap car. Five thousand. Who needs it? Bid four. Now five. Bid four. Now five. Missed your opportunity. Bid four. Now five. I'm bid five. Now six. What do you think? We go six. We do six. We do six. We do six. Five thousand bid no six. Five thousand bid no six. I'm at five thousand here. Now what do you think? We go six thousand. We go six thousand. We go six thousand. We go six thousand. Five thousand bid no six. Bid five. Now six. I'm at five. Now six. I'm at five. Six. Now seven. Six bid no seven. 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 Six bid no seven. I'm at six thousand. Now seven. I'm at six. Now six. Sixty-five hundred. Now seven thousand. Sixty-five. Seven. Now seventy-five. Before we get too far here, guys, I need to let you know. I've been told this also has a hard top. This I'm car seven, has a hard top. It has a hard top with it. 7,500. 7,000. 7,500. I'm at 7 now. 75. Would you go 75? 75. Would you go 75? Now 8. Would you go 8? Would you go 8? Would you go 8? 7,500. Bid now 8. I'm at 75. Now 8. 8 bid now 85. I'm at 8,000 here now. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. Now 9. Would you go 9? Would you go 9? Would you go 9? 8,500 bid now 9. I'm at 8,500 here now. What do you think? Would you go 9? 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 8,500 bid. Would you go 9? Would you go 9? No, 9,500. 9,500. 9,500. 9,095. I'm at 9,000, now 95. I'm at 9,000 here, now what do you think? Would you go 95, would you go 95, would you go 95, would you go 95? 95 in the back, now 10, now 10, now 10. 95, now 10, I'm at 95, now 10. I'm at 95 here, now what do you think? Would you go 10, 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 95, would you go 10, would you go 10, would you go 10, would you go 10, 95, would you go 10? Bid 95, now 10. I'm at 95, now 10. 95, now 10. I'm at 95, now 10. Are we okay? 10,000 11, 10, now 11. 11 buys the car. It, it is. is now. It's selling now. It's sold for $11,000. Back row. Many thanks go to our staff. A lot of them show up once a year. They're friends of ours and, and family. Um, and they do it out of passion. They do it out of um, a real joy of being around these cars and look forward to it every year and they do a, a real bang up job. I mean they take ownership in it so that was really neat. It's really fun for us as a family to see the recurring, the people coming over and over and over and you get to know them and their likes and you know hey you're gonna like that car and that kind of stuff so that's a real highlight. With the amount of stress that goes on in that week the people are really the reason you, the reason you do it. It's a very frantic time and it's really fun to just kind of shake hands and hey how are you and kind of decompresses you. So we're very thankful for the people that pitch in and the people that come and support the event and as a family we're just looking forward to the biggest ever, our 40th annual.